some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Mount Lake Terrace, Washington State at the local garbage dump with the uh, garbage frauditor in the auditing media as he, well, attempts to do his usual uh, BS spiel about filing uh, records requests at the wrong place. And, well, he ends up getting a trespass from the location. Uh, congratulations, dude. Another trashy frauditor booted from a garbage dump. Yeah, join the club with uh, Georgia Transparency, why don't you? Now, in the meantime, let's just go ahead and uh, uh, get this S show on the freaking road, shall we? Hey, everyone, I am free. It's August 27th, 2024. I'm in the city of Mount Lake Terrace, Snohomish County, in the Communist Empire of Washington State, heading on over. Oh, whoa, 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 dude, before you start calling that state a communist empire you might want to take a look at the ussr and see how communist empires really were and you might want to take a look at uh some modern communist states such as north korea to see how they are actually run because what you're talking about is a load of bullshit to begin with here to the southwest recycling and transfer station got tips and leads that they're having some uh really risky behavior going on the way uh, employees are driving around moving too quick causing accidents making it dangerous for customers coming on the property you know uh maybe we should let somebody more qualified to uh come in and actually investigate than some uh well gibbering idiot who wouldn't know what he's looking at i mean uh you've walked into a uh, sewage treatment plants and uh weren't able to identify the uh, chemical placards properly, so how can you be trusted to uh, come into a garbage dump and do, well, the right thing to begin with? A little longer than a few minutes later. Can I help you? Hey, Frauditor, what that says to me? It says to me that this is a hard-working man who actually has a job unlike you uh not quite yet i gotta do some business with the admin office here in a second but just getting some footage real quick there's no admin here oh there's a staff office that's all right. just the staff office the what there's a staff office i gotta submit a request here so. staff we don't have a staff office here it's not what it says around the corner huh it's not what it says around the corner we have do you have a name that you're going to meet with? Do you have an appointment? You said you were going to meet with somebody. Yeah, whoever's there. Who are you with? Myself. What? Myself. Why do you want to talk to somebody? I just said because I need to submit a request. Okay, what's your request? Oh, if you want to take it, sure. Looking to get some records. So what? Get some records. We can't get records from this site. You have to call our, you got to uh, contact our Cathcart head office. Oh, sure. No, no. I'm not trying to actually get the records today. I don't mean that. I'm just trying to submit the requests. Well, we don't have record request forms here. Oh, I can just give it to you verbally. No, you can't. I. Bob said I could. Who? Bob. Who's Bob? Ferguson? Who the hell's Bob Ferguson? And as per usual, this frauditor is going to go into his little spiel about how he can get records requests uh, done anywhere at any time when uh, any person who can look it up can understand that, well, a lot of times there's centralized locations for this. You just don't walk onto any property and uh, do this kind of thing. But, of course, this frauditor is such a numbskull, uh, he doesn't seem to understand that. The Attorney General of the State of Washington? has nothing to do with us. This is the dump. Now, I'm not going to show the entire segment because it really comes down to, well him just being a royal pain in the ass. But he shows this particular, uh, well, uh, screenshot right here where it says that uh, 
requests can be mailed. And yet, he doesn't seem to understand that whatsoever. And it says a number of agencies uh, have been known to uh, accept oral requests. It doesn't say all agencies. It says a number of agencies. So, uh, Frauditor, uh, yeah, check your language. You might want to uh, go back to school and, uh, well, study up on uh, verbiage. This is the this is county, not state. No, no, no. I totally understand that. He he uh, instructed in uh, a lot. Title forty four, chapter fourteen, section zero three thousand six. I don't care. It says it. Well, I mean, obviously you don't. But I'm still trying to get my business done. We're not going to conduct the kind of business at this site. You're going to have to. You're going to refuse the public records request? No, I. We do not have the capability. We are a production site here. Our oh, you're a private employee. You're not a public employee. I'm a public employee, yes, but we are processing garbage here. Sure. If you want paperwork stuff, then you have to contact our people at our headquarters, which is at Cathcart on Cathcart Road, east of um, Silver Lake. No, who told you? That's where our headquarters are. Yeah, and, and I appreciate it, but no one told you that. I don't. I don't need to be told anything. Gotcha. Same. You need to be told something. We don't have anything here that we can accommodate you with. We can give you a phone number to call if you can't look it up yourself. The statute says I can go to any office, department, bureau. Who commission. said? The statute said you can do what? Go to any office. This department, is not an office. Department, division, bureau. This is not a bureau. Or, this is none of those things. This is a transfer station where we receive and process garbage. I understand that. We have no office workers here. I understand that. It doesn't require office workers. It just requires a government employee, of which you are one. Uh, now, Rod, I appreciate it. It sounds like you probably haven't gone through any training for the Public Records Act, and I don't want you to get jammed up, Rod. You seem like a nice guy, so what I'm trying to do is actually just... I'm yeah, are you just one of those... What are you, what's your purpose? His purpose is a complete moron, because he should know that not everybody is going to be trained in this specific thing. These people here are trained in waste processing. That is their job. If you want somebody who can do this for you, you go to an actual office. You don't go to a uh, plumber and ask them to uh, do doctor stuff now, do you? That's kind of like what this is right here. Wouldn't you agree? I don't think you'd agree anyway because you wouldn't be able to understand that kind of division of labor concept right there now, would you? I am literally trying to submit a records request, Rod. For what? Records. For garbage? About the operation of this facility. Do you understand what this facility does? Yes, that's what? why I'm here to get records about it. Why do you want to know? Because I'm a citizen? But I'm, I'm trying to make a records request, not play Jeopardy with you, man. Uh, you're a very suspicious character, wearing a mask, and we're concerned. So you're worried that this, maybe this camera comes with flamethrowers and missiles, or... Look, did you, a, should we call the sheriff? I mean, if that's what you feel you need to do. Well, I'm going to talk to somebody, but uh, you're not going to get satisfaction for your desires at this location. You're going to have to go to another site. I mean, that's not what the statute says. What? That's not what the statute... No, the we don't care what the statute says. We're a garbage dump, okay? Yeah, it's obviously a garbage dump, and uh, that's why this garbage person has decided to come in here, because as a frauditor, he probably feels right at home among all the trash that you're trying to process. Maybe you can help him. Maybe you can find some uh, some uh, pieces of trash that he can uh, call his own. Yikes. I mean, Rod, I get that you don't like the law. I mean, I get it. I get it. No, I have no... We, we are not into laws, man. We're into garbage. <laughs> Shocking. This is my shocked face. Rod, while being an abusive, uninformed government employee, is at least honest in his tyrannical approach to abusing the public, as we'll see escalate here soon. Most government employees are not into following the law. They just want to brutalize you, impede your liberties, violate your rights, and make your life difficult overall. Thanks for letting us know, Rod. Oh my god. I never thought I would see the day when these frauditors would actually go to the point where they think garbage workers are violating their rights. How stupid can you get? 
I, I, I get that you're an island unto your own, Rod. You're, no, no, we're you're a man forging a path through the multiverse, and you're going to win. But I'm just trying to submit a record request, man. That's very strange. Wow. I mean, you don't, you don't have to be so amped up, Rod. Someone's going to come talk to you about your problem. All right. Thanks, Rod. Hey, hey, you have a better day, okay? Sorry you had such a bad morning. Wow. Jeez, just simply try to submit a records request and this guy's melting down over here like it's a flamethrower on an ice bank. You know, for the sake of time and for my own sanity and for your sanity as well, I'm just going to go ahead and skip to when the police officers show up and uh, decide to escort them off the property because from this point on, it's just uh, mindless uh, stupidity. Well, more mindless stupidity when he talks to uh, another guy at this plant. And, uh, well, it still goes nowhere, as you would expect with uh, circular reasoning. So let's just roll that beautiful bean footage where this moron ends up, well, getting trespassed. Many, many minutes later. Not ah, too bad. right now. What's going on, Drake? Uh, just working on some stuff here. Okay, working on stuff here? Like what? Yeah, I had a records request, gotta get some footage. Footage? Okay. So it's, uh, so it's county property, you have to have a request, have like permission to film here. Do you mind come back here with your permits, whatever you need? Hold, sorry. Sorry. Did you say permit? Yeah, I'm thinking uh, the manager here said this is county property, you need to have permit to record here. Uh, I ask you to leave and you refuse, right? Yeah, that never happened, actually. You happened to? Okay. I was never asked to leave. Okay. I've been recording my body camera continuously the entire time. Uh, for, before okay, we go just further, to make sure. Before we go further, can I get your name and badge yes. number? Officer Van Orman. My badge number is five four nine one. I'm not gonna lie, with the accent, I did not expect Van Orman. <laughs> yeah. What is your accent? Everywhere. Wow. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, uh, and what was the badge number? Five four nine one. Five four nine one. Okay. So yeah, here's the thing. Um, I guarantee you there is no requirement for a permit here. The only permit that's required, because I'm a member of the press, is the First Amendment. Uh, dude, uh, freedom of the press does not mean that you have special privileges. It means that you can uh, print your stories without government interference. Because, you know, back when they created that amendment, the King of England was, uh, well, censoring a lot of publishing and well they decided that they would put that in there just because well they didn't want uh it to happen over here and you're obviously not being censored because well you managed to get this piece of footage onto youtube so yeah i would say it's working quite well oh by the way i would recommend uh that you take a uh, ethics class in actual journalism. That way uh, you can understand that you're not exactly a member of the press. So in this country, that amendment gives you the liberty of speech and press. I'm here as a member of the press, working on a story regarding this transfer station. I've submitted a public records request in accordance with RCW 4256 section 80. And now I just need to finish up with my uh, B-roll video and photo footage. Uh, do you mind sharing me with your information? Who are you and why like, I'm trying to find you? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you my name is Gandalf. Gandalf? Yeah, G-A-N-D-O-L-P-H, uh, yeah. What's your last name? I'd rather not give it. Uh, it's not required. Okay. It's well, right now, you, uh, ask, I'm asking you to leave. Hold it, hold it. Yeah. <laughs> Officer Van Orman, I want to be really clear here because I think you're about to make a mistake. You're asking me, as a city employee of Mount Lake Terrace, to leave county no. property. I'm on uh, behalf of the manager here. You don't have yeah. agency here, man. If they want to ask me to leave, they need to ask me to leave. If they, act, Which they haven't done yet. I want to be clear about that. Uh, that's just, I have not been asked to leave this property at all. In fact, I've conducted business public records request already with Carlos. And that's what I've been working on in addition oh, to. Oh, that's official. Yeah. Do you want to go grab somebody? Yeah. Uh, What's your name, officer? Elrod. My name is Officer Chuck Elrod of the cool. City of Mont Lake Terrace Police Department. You got a business card? I do. Yeah, I do you? Okay. Property. It's on camera right now. Am I being trespassed? Yes. Okay, and if I don't leave, I'll be arrested? Do you want to get trespassed? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, may I see your driver's license, please? No. Well, then, you have to walk off the property, so please get going. Okay. And if I don't leave, then I'll be arrested? 
Yes, you okay. will. Now, I just want to make sure, do you want me to leave through the stairs, or do you want me to leave out this way? How did you get in? Walk up the stairs. Yeah, he was he was already down. Yeah, I didn't want to get caught in the traffic. I was just worried about coming in this way. That's why I took the So you're stairs. worried about something. That's good to hear. Please leave the property. Let's go. Hey, Carlos? Yeah. Where's my business Thanks. card? You asked. You're going to get named in that lawsuit, Carlos. Yeah, I'm sure they're real concerned about a frauditor's complaint. I mean, they're only a dime a dozen and, uh, well, pretty much worth less than that when you actually take a look at them. That's why you see so many of them go in the shredder, because, well, they can actually recycle the paper and make something useful out of it. Absolutely not allowed. No, sir, Elmer, I'd like to get a uh, supervisor as well. You're welcome to go to the police department and contact the supervisor there. So you're not going to call him? We're having a very busy day. I'm asking just a simple question. I'm not asking I, if your day is busy. I'm answering your simple question. You're more than welcome to go to the police department. That wasn't department. my question. I'm asking if I can get a supervisor here. Will you call him? It's really simple, no, Officer Elrod. No, not, not for call this. Me. Not for this. No, you're welcome to go to the station. So I just want you to know there is no signage anywhere that says unauthorized personnel, like limiting uh, that, no trespassing, zero. So you guys are committing prior restraint on my attempt as a member of the press to work on a story. Now, I know you guys dance around the whole qualified immunity thing and you don't care because you're playing with the citizens' money. But at the end of the day, <laughs> it's... You're breaking the law right now. The two of you are actually conspiring, which is a federal felony. Now, granted, is a federal prosecutor going to charge you with that? Probably not, because you guys all play on the same G team. But you're actually committing a felony right now. So that's really Please great that... the sidewalk. Do not step into the roadway. I'd like the uh, trespass warning, by the way. You've been trespassed from the property. Yeah, told you. I'd like the trespass warning that's, written. That's fine. Right there. There's your trespass warning. It's Have a nice day, sir. Thank you. It's time, place, banner restrictions, Officer Elrod. It's open Thank to the sir. public nice during day. the day. And yet you can still be trespassed if you act like a freaking nuisance on the property. So congratulations, dumbass. You've been trespassed from yet another piece of property that you'll probably never return, return to anyway because you never cared about going there in the first place. And now you're going to try to file your fictitious lawsuits in somewhere where the sun doesn't shine. Am I right? So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?